Does meat consumption increase the risk of um, developing hypertension? Hi, this is part two of what causing hypertension. If you would have missed um, our previous video, please go and check it out at our YouTube channel or our, our Facebook page. And please do subscribe and turn that notification on at our YouTube channel so that you won't miss any of our future videos. So today we're just going to talk part two of causes of hypertension and we're going to talk more about the meat association with hypertension. So let us do it right now. a certified lifestyle medicine physician and co-founder of Dr. Mora Health. We know already from 1970s how meat consumption was associated with high blood pressure. A renowned physician, Frank Sachs and his colleague, demonstrated how food and animal origin were significantly highly associated with the systolic and diastolic blood pressure. And this was after the age and weight effects were removed. The association between meat consumption and hypertension is uh, mainly through the vascular inflammation but red meat consumption does not only put you at risk of developing hypertension but also put you at the risk of other cardiovascular complications such as um, heart attack and stroke and this was uh, through the discovery in recent years of trimethylamine and oxide or TMAO which is basically a substance that is produced after ingestion of red meat now, the people who had high levels in their blood of TMAOs had a twice the risk of developing heart attacks, twice the risk of having strokes and other cardiovascular diseases. The study is also studying different um, dietary, dietary groups. Oxford EPIC study, they're studying hypertension and blood pressure in the different uh, groups, meat eaters, fish eaters, vegetarian and vegan. And what was found was that um, non-meat eaters, specifically vegan, had a very low uh, prevalence of developing um, hypertension. Not only that, Donaldson just uh, took people who were vegetarian and then put them on, um, on a meat diet just for 16 days to see what happened. People who were vegetarian whose blood pressure was like 106 over 60, 60. After just 16 days of just on meat diet, their blood pressure rose up to 120, uh, 120 or over 80. So demonstrating that every time you add meat in your diet, there's association with the blood pressure uh, started going up. In our previous video, we did talk about, of course, the issue of sodium. But I wanted to notice that salt and meat go always together. And the reasoning is, um, of course, salt is pre uh, preservative, but not only that. The food industry will tell that you need salt to, to make your food tasty. But if they use it for other, you know, hidden reasons. When they add salt in your meat, uh, that meat is going to retain water. And since meat is sold by weight, the more the weight, the more the money and the, the salt that is added in meat can actually increase the weight up to 20 to 20 percent. So how much of meat are you eating per day, per week? Maybe if you have high blood pressure it would be actually wise to decrease how much meat you eat. Um, maybe if you eat meat every day maybe so I say I'm gonna try you know uh, maybe three times a week and just see how your blood pressure is going to respond. So thank you so much for watching Stay tuned for more on hypertension and heart disease.